Welcome back. Today's an experiment in recording outside. Because I'm moving and because the video studio is gonna be compromised, and just to try something different. Anyway, let's talk about let's talk about eye exercises and why why I am so much against eye exercises. And before we get on to all that a little bit, yes eye exercises can work. Yes, you can simulate natural biological function via eye exercises, but it's not very efficient. And my problem with the whole eye exercise thing is it's, there's a lot of misrepresentation going on there. You always hear me talking about Bates method and it's not really fair as some of you guys frequently point out. Bates didn't really do eye exercises. A lot of the stuff that's today called Bates method is just People just made that stuff up and it has nothing to do with proper medical um, tometry science. It has nothing to do with, with science in general. It's just typical internet stuff. So not efficient because, and since we're doing outside, there's gonna be background noise. So it's an experiment. If you want better eyesight, if you don't wanna be myopic, if you wanna be like me, I have minus five to optomyopia. I can see 2020 today with no eye exercises and no LASIK and no contact lenses, then you have to adjust your habits. It's not a question of trying to find some exercise and ignoring the root cause, right? Like the problem is close up. The problem is you're staring at a screen for eight hours. The problem is you're staring with a, at a screen for eight hours without then going outside and using your distance vision. The problem is covering up the resulting focusing muscle spasm problem more links on that below with glasses, wearing those glasses where they're not intended while you're in close up instead of for distance vision where they're supposed to be. So the compounding issues that are creating myopia are not ever, ever addressed by exercises. I wonder how much of that noise is really coming through. It's, this is a little tiny fishing village with lots of wind, so there's good kite surfing, kind of awesome. I'm not sure about this. So getting outside and the kite surfing here is, is a prime example. I've spent a fair amount of effort in re-examining my life and myopia is short-sightedness. It's literally short-sightedness, but it's also figuratively short-sightedness, right? Like, I mean, if you sit at work all day, all day, in your lunch break, you play on your smartphone or you check your Facebook, before work you're checking screens, after work you're checking screens, when you're in the toilet you're checking screens, you're living in front of screens at this distance, close up, and your distance vision suffers, it's not really a huge surprise. And this sounds all way vague and fluffy here, but adjusting the habit, like if you want good distance vision, an exercise isn't gonna fix that for you. Distance vision fixes distance vision, right? This is one of the more vague videos. There's links below, the, the, this whole channel has lots more specific recommendations. This is more of a general thing of why eye exercises aren't very effective, right? Like if you're not fixing the problem of you're wearing glasses and you're using them at the wrong distance, you're getting hyperopic to focus, your, your eyeball is elongating, you're, you're having a whole bunch of close-up strain that you're never, 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 never dealing with, an eye exercise is gonna fix that. And if you're getting a temporary little bit of improvement, which some of these things sadly provide, you think there's an answer there and then you invest a whole bunch more time and then you realize because you're not addressing the root problem, the eye exercises don't work. Which is why I desperately despise all those people that sell eye exercises because they're selling you a waste of time. And long term it just doesn't work because you can exercise all you want whenever you get back to your life, right? Like your, your close-up habits, your vision goes back to where it started. So I'm an extreme example, like now I'm kite surfing. I'm spending a lot of time looking at the kite, looking at the distance, looking at the wind. Like I get an hour or two on a lucky good day, three or four days a week during a season where I'm outside. And that's maybe a huge luxury, but if you don't take that literally, but philosophically, how can you adjust your life to where if you had better distance vision, 
you'd be putting it to some use. And start there, right? And then, and then get into all the stuff that we talk about where you reduce your close-up correction, you deal with your distance correction, you learn active focus, you learn actively seeing your surroundings, you learn about eye strain, you learn about all these things. But in the bigger picture, you're doing this for your distance vision. So what are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna use your distance vision for, right? Like find things to do that naturally challenge your distance vision. If, if I am in this fishing village and I'm kite surfing for a month, my distance vision is notably better than when I'm staying in a big city and there is much less opportunity for me to use my distance vision. And even then, if you watch my videos, I live in a big city, I buy a motorbike, right? Because with the motorbike now, I have to be much more focused on traffic. I'm weaving around cars. Like I am tweaking little things about my life to engage my distance vision. And do that, right? Like two hours of kite surfing or two hours of paragliding or two hours of skiing or two hours of bird watching or two hours of bowling or two hours of whatever it is, is gonna be way more fun and way more sustainable than two hours of bullshit eye exercises. Like that stuff is so lame, it is so lame. Motorcycle noise, not sure how much that'll affect the video, but lame, those guys are lame. And if you are into eye exercises, open your mind and consider what I'm saying. How about replacing running in that hamster wheel with some real life, right? Like start digging around for interesting things to actually live life not in front of a screen, not in freaking Facebook and not on YouTube and not on, ironically, not on YouTube, but slowly find a way to migrate some of the time outside. You know, maybe you pick up a jujitsu class or yoga or whatever it is that takes you away from a screen. Two hours of that versus two hours of some eye exercise. Think about that. You get into a hobby and you get that two hours, three, four times a week are you really long-term gonna do two hours, three, four times a week of eye exercises, right? That as soon as you stop doing them, if there are any benefits, they will drop off. That's why. <sighs> There's a certain kind of person who loves this kind of stuff and they love to get into it and they get into all the whatever latest jungle berry magic thing is, no eye exercises, but for real people, for people with a life, for people who are not living in forums and in front of screens, Eye exercises are not the answer, right? Adjusting life to involve more distance vision and then learn all the stuff that's in Enmiopia that actually improves your distance vision so then you can enjoy it. How's that? How's that for a video? Let me know what you think. I'm making a bunch of these and I'm making all kinds of different stuff. I'm making like Sears Pro Topic stuff here and I'm making kind of clickbaity Bates Method stuff over here because it gets a lot of views. But if you let me know what you like below, thumbs up or thumbs down, gives me a better idea of better targeting your viewing enjoyment. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.